Okay, that's about as fast as I want to, want to go. That's the other time I seriously got myself into trouble. Too much time compression. Let's slow it down a notch here. Okay, any second now. Any second now. There we go. Okay, I think... Let's see, I've got a collision course set up again, and we're off axis, off the planet ecliptic. Let's change this around to target the moon. Yeah, moon toward it. Okay. Okay, how I'm going to handle this. Point this at 90. I'm going to try to extend my trajectory around the side of the thing. Do some thrusting here. I just want to get a periapsis up there. Good. Okay, good. That works. How much fuel I got? Yeah, I barely used any for that. Okay, and I'll wait until the periapsis, and at that point, I will do some retro burning to go into an orbit around the moon. Other people are advising me, I, I, don't, I suppose you don't actually have to actually do the orbit, like, but I want, I want to orbit the moon before I land. It's because it's, it's, it just seems better that way. It just seems more cool. Am I pronouncing it right? Should I be pronouncing it Mun, since that's how it's spelled? But then I see it, people also spell it with an umlaut over the U, which would make it be Moon, right? I'll keep calling it Moon. I think I'll actually wait until I'm just past that periapsis. I'm wandering around all over the place. Come on, man. You know how to fly this thing, don't you? You're locking in place right about there. And do some burning. Come on, let's turn this into an orbit. Turn this into orbit. Good. Oh, look at that periapsis shrink. Let's just stop right here, since that periapsis is getting so low anyway. Okay, okay, what is it like about an eighth of a tank left? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And there be Kerbin. Kerbin setting. I've been reading... One of the things, one of the reasons that I, I like playing a bunch of these uh, simulator-type games is they're good excuses to pick up books and read books. I, I picked up the Silent Hunter 4 and I uh, started reading a whole bunch of submarine history. Uh, I picked this up and I, I now I've started reading, reading up in some of the Apollo Look at the, the Apollo 11 guys going for their orbit around the moon. See, they, they had to to do their burn to actually it go into transit from the, the, the path where they were just going around the moon and back to Earth uh, to, to where they went and did a burn to slow themselves down and go into orbit around the moon itself. They had to do that uh, the way the orbit worked back here in the dark side of the moon where they were the, uh, out of contact with Earth. So everybody on Earth, they, they had, nobody knew how that burn was going. Nobody knew what was going on until, um, until the Apollo guys, until Apollo 11, they came around the other side. They reestablished radio contact. I bet it was pretty nerve-wracking for everybody involved, huh? Look at that moon going around. Looking pretty cool. Oh, that's right. Hang on. I keep on trying to maneuver my vehicle whenever I'm still at time compression and it doesn't let me. All right. And once again, we're a few minutes away from trying to set up a landing approach. So what does the music do? The music turns evil. <laughs> I 
think it may actually be the same song as before. Here we are, popping. Yep, we can talk to Earth again. We can talk Kerbin. Sorry, it's not Earth. Kerbin. Okay. Okay, let's start thinking about this whole burn situation. Roll this thing around. I definitely want to be over here in the daylight side. Imagine if we get persistence, if we get multiple vehicles, you know what will be possible then? It'll be possible to build a moon base. It'll be possible to do multiple missions to the moon and you'll be able to leave, uh, leave a piece of equipment on the moon and then come back later in another mission and land next to it if you get really good, if you can do pinpoint landings. And eventually build up, build up a moon base. This game, you realize just, just the scale, the scope of it. Uh, it's going to be, well, eventually this will be, they say, the largest sandbox, sandbox ex ex uh, gaming experience around. Especially if they're talking about multiple solar systems eventually. Multiple star and planetary systems. And if it's any of the, in the, the, the curb, the Kerbal system, which they will add, the Kerbal solar system, I guess, I guess the proper way to say it would just be the Kerbal system, because it's only solar system if they're actually talking about the star as soul. Anyway, yeah, it was, it is not going to be identical, uh, not, it is not going to be identical to our own solar system. Uh, the planets will be, in some ways, they will be similar, they'll be familiar, but, you know, it'll be a very different place. And think of all the places, in, in our own, in reality, in real life in the solar system, how many moons are there? I know that there's, what, what, there's over, like, 150 moons to explore in, in reality right here. So, I don't know, who knows what they're going to do with the Kerbal system. Yeah, the game's going to be huge. Huge. Do I want to go for this the same crater again? I think I think that I don't know. Two of the previous moon landings, it's possible that some of my Kerbals may have survived. I think I'm already passing over the point where one of them would be, though. I think I'm going to go for landing it like around over here somewhere, maybe around this edge of that crater. Some burning. Oh, we're committed now. Take it down to say 400 meters per second. Oops. Let's see what that did. Yep. Yeah, that's working. I'll wait until I get a little bit closer. I'll do some more burning to get us more vertical. It's exciting. Here we go. I'm watching that altitude meter go by. Okay, when am I going to do, let's say, hmm, do I want to wait till 20,000 to do another burn? Yeah, let's wait till 20,000. Kind of nervous. RCS fuel, barely touched it. Lots of RCS fuel. 
really, really hope this thing lands. I really, really hope that this attaching this nose gear, it's no longer attached to this large fuel tank. It's actually kind of straddling the joint between two RCS tanks. I hope that doesn't turn out to be a, uh, a really bad idea. We're into the, ex the infamous exploding central landing gear issue again. Maybe I should have kept that thought to myself. Bob doesn't look so thrilled. Bill and Jeb they either didn't hear me or they're just ignoring it. They're enjoying the view. Okay, here we go. Orbital speed. 350. And dropping. 300 and dropping. Let's take a second here to... Okay, there goes my over and unders. Let's take my orbital speed down to 100. There goes those tanks going by. Okay. And this time I'm going to wait until about 10,000. Once I hit 10,000, I'll try to kill my orbital speed, take it all the way down to zero. This should be right in the middle of that crater. Yeah, look at that. We'll start thinking about a landing. We're going to land on the moon, guys. It's going to happen this time. We're going to do it. Can you feel it? Are you, are you excited? Bill's excited. I'm, I'm like... It's not often that you see Bill excited, but he is, so it's a good thing, you know? I don't know, I hope, I hope the terrain is smoother in this crater. It makes sense that it would be, right? A little bit smoother than the outside. Do some more burn in here. Uh, it kind of looks like I'm headed towards a more of a rough spot, doesn't it? Okay. Whoops. Let's not be getting too crazy here. Pay attention to what you're doing, Matt. Oops. Put that my direction indicator just right at the right on the dot, right at the very top. So we're going straight down. Vehicle's trying to yaw around. Let's turn precision control on. Yeah, that might help some. Okay, good. Now. Okay, so, yeah, my direction, I should be just pure vertical now. That's good, that's good. Starting to get a little bit nervous again. It's okay, guys, we're going to do it this time. We're going to do it this time. It's going to be awesome. Okay, we're picking up. Let's try to keep it under 100, huh? Let's turn RCS on at this point. Well, I'm using more fuel than I like. Well, that be, yeah, it'll still be enough to get home. I'm certain it will. Some. I'm going to 
much. Okay. Now, moment of truth. SAS off, unlike that other time when I totally screwed it up. Let's go horizontal and thrust upwards with RCS. It is remaining stable. Success. Okay, that part is working. That part is working. Oh, that's huge. Okay, good, good. Throttle back some. I've got the RCS actually mapped to a an axis on my joystick so I can control how much it thrusts. Okay, success. We're definitely doing it this time. Definitely doing it this time. Don't know if we have enough fuel to get back, but I'll worry about that when I get there, you know? Oops. I'm going back up again. Let's nudge this thing forward just a hair and right just a hair for this I see this big empty spot over there actually point it more in this direction some more thrusting forward okay good good careful 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 gentle 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 When I moved, I'm not perfectly horizontal anymore, but neither is the... Let's do it this way. Thrust backwards some. Kill that forward momentum. Okay, too gentle. Go ahead and touch down. Okay, there's one RCS fuel tank gone. Go ahead and touch down. There we go. Kill. Okay. RCS off. SAS off. Throttle back. That. Yes. Okay. I'm excited. I don't know about anybody else. I am excited. Uh, my my Kerbals, they, they're alternating between being kind of shocked and between and being happy. Oh. Okay, I mean, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I, I promise you. Uh, you know, I do play this game when I'm not recording, but... That is the very first time that I've ever landed on, on, on a body other than Planet Kerbin. Whew! <laughs> that is 100% success is what that is. Okay, I'm excited. I'm happy about that. I've only used one of my RCS tanks, too. Still got, still got a whole other tank left. Whew, okay. Okay. And say... And not quite two-thirds fuel left. Oh, oh, wait a second. No, I was looking at that wrong. Oh, no, I, we got tons of fuel left. I was used to thinking of it the way, in the old fuel configuration. Yeah, we've only used... See, not quite half of the forward tanks. We still have these... The tip tanks haven't even been touched yet. I forgot about those. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, well, that's a natural ending point for an episode. I'm going to uh, stop recording and save things, and we'll pick back up.